Hello everyone and welcome back to another update on the Batmobile project for the 2016 Batman BVS Batmobile. Uh, as you can see we've moved uh, ahead quite a bit from uh, the design phase to engineering. We've added quite a bit of detail, especially looking at the side. Let me overlay a picture of the old model as you can see that was still uh, lacking quite a bit of detail, especially on the side. Look at that with the beautiful uh, detailing and the foot rest. Uh, but most importantly, actually, um, when we have a 3D model, that's not something that you can actually produce until you engineer every part separately, as you can see here, to something that can be cast and reproduced in high quality resin or rubber or metal, whatever uh, is required. And so, as you can see from the top two, there's a, a quite a bit of detail added. So then we added uh, some real structure. So we've been able to engineer the entire bottom of the vehicle as well with uh, the way the wheels are mounted um, with well the detail you see in the actual Batmobile as well in the bottom because uh, with the other 3D model that wasn't done yet um, we've worked out how to do the uh, the wheels separately as you can see and uh, all the detail that needed to be reproduced in the back and let me give you another example of how you move from 3D modeling to actual engineering. So we had this back, as you can re remember, but just look at these uh, the struts or, or your suspension, or whatever you want to call these parts that are holding up the wing. You can just model them, but you have to find a way to attach those struts in a good way to the wings, to the body, in a way that can be reproduced, in a, a way that is strong enough. We've also been able to uh, finally finish the cockpit or most of the cockpit. As you can see, the chair looks really great, needs some few more details. Let me overlay another picture for you there. So we're adding these details to the seats and that roll bar you see in the edge of the screen uh, right here. Uh, thanks to some excellent feedback. Of course, we were working on that already. So so here's a look at where we're at uh, with the cockpit right now. Like I said, we still have to add the roll bar. Here you see what we've been engineering uh, to be the hinge for the doors. As you see, we can add that now. So that's that's also part of what, what the engineering does, you know, uh, making room for hinges and uh, ways to attach that. And we're still working out how to do that within the frame uh, of the cost we're looking at right now. Because as we said, we will do this for $750, at least a base version. But as you can see, the final 1.6 scale size of 102 centimeters length and 56 centimeters in width, that is just massive. Uh, our initial price was based on what we would expect the size to be. And if you look at the Tumbler or the, even the 1989 Batmobile, that one is very long, but not as long as this one and not as wide, not as high. So we're still trying to work that out. Um, we're also looking into having more upscale deluxe version uh, for all the features that we can't include in the base uh, version for $750. So comparing that to like the Prime 1 BVS Batmobile diorama, which is only one tenth, tenth scale, and that one is $1,500, so twice the price. So uh, just manage your expectations there. Uh, we will be offering a, a more deluxe version, most likely if we can uh, swing that and an additional uh, diorama floor, uh, like a broken up uh, piece of road or something like that, uh, as an additional uh, optional extra. So um, we can uh, pl try to please everyone that way, the way we always try to do that. So really, um, just looking at the planning for this, um, we're looking at the next month finishing the 3D model and uh, trying the first uh, 3D samples uh, in the 1-6 scale, because let me put up a picture here of the smaller paint sample that we did, where we learned a lot from that. Uh, we're happy with the way the paint came out, but not uh, all the engineering, so that made, uh, made us make some changes and um, so I expect to have a, a real full sc six scale uh, prototype somewhere at the end of October and then uh, once we're happy with that early November uh, we can f confirm uh, the, the prototypes after getting all the feedback from you guys and, and st so we start um, the, doing the, all the tooling for production that that is until early December and then we'll do uh, mass production uh, and uh, so the mass production will take another 80 days at least. Uh, and so then packing, uh, painting and, and delivery another 40 days. So we're looking at 
uh, a delivery around April of next year right now. So um, I hope that answers a lot of your questions. I uh, really hope to hear back from you guys, get as much feedback as possible, and everyone who wants to support this, please do. That really helps. Um, and thank you again for watching. Until next time.